speak. And we are live. The Hangout says we are live. So I'm going to <coughs> just uh, uh, go straight into uh, the business end of it. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for being here with us today. Um, this is a presentation which uh, there are two Mohammeds I have on the panel uh, with me. Uh, we met briefly in uh, uh, near Birmingham when we had the United Kingdom conference where uh, the CEO was there and uh, was a, the first major conference we managed to do in the United Kingdom. And so we've been chatting on and off and uh, we've been sort of um, uh, uh, consulting on how to approach this business and what to do. So to begin with, this is going to be a very straightforward presentation. It won't take more than 20, 25 minutes. And it's going to be strictly about what is this business about? Um, it's a little more than an elevator pitch. The elevator pitch is the easy one, right? I'll give you the elevator pitch now, which is very simply, we give you 10, 20, or more times better returns than your money in a bank. And with the returns, you're able to convert them into a physical property portfolio. If that doesn't make somebody's jaw drop to the elevator flow, I don't know what will. Yeah. So straight off, off the bat, <clears throat> for uh, uh, average Joe public, they've got a few thousand sitting here and they're doing absolutely nothing. And in fact, they're losing money on the uh, 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 depreciating uh, deposit because the inflation may be 4% and the interest may be 1%. Net, net, they're worse off by 3%. So if you have a thousand pound in the bank in a few uh, in, a, in a year's time, you'll have a lot less than a thousand in sheer purchasing power. So it's a complete waste of time keeping your money in the bank. And what we do is we are in the, involved in the business of Bitcoin mining, which delivers a reward. Now, before I go any further, we've had these discussions in the little um, uh, chat group as well. Um, I, I want to be very clear about this. Bitcoin mining at its creation is halal. I have not yet come across any such interpretation to say why it should be otherwise. Uh, that's simply because it is a mathematical algorithm. You know the origin of the word algebra. So it's a mathematical uh, 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 computation that creates a code, and that code can be transferred on the internet using a system called the blockchain. It's as simple as that. What the recipient does with the money with the Bitcoin, that may then be variable. But as long as it comes via uh, 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 blockchain back to you, there is no saying that that is in any way haram. So first of all, secondly, the Bitcoin creation, the point at which it is born uh, is like growing a tomato plant. You have to plant the tomato plant, water it with a lot of electricity in this case, in case of the mining farm, and when it bears fruit, those are your Bitcoins. You can now take those fruits and put them back into the soil and grow more plants, and therefore you're multiplying. So when you talk about Bitcoin compounding, it is like growing a tomato farm uh, by multiplying the saplings and the seedlings. Or you could compare it to a poultry farm where you know more chicken equal to more egg, more egg equal to more chicken, and the next thing you know, your poultry farm is overflowing. Okay, So that principle of compounding, it is not interest-based. There are, no, there are Bitcoin-based loans some of the exchanges are doing. But if you want to stay clear of that, Bitcoin in and of itself does not have an interest or debt-based uh, uh, economy attached to it, which is why it is a breath of fresh air. So we are into Bitcoin mining. That's what gives you double-digit returns. And it's not just uh, 10, 20 times. <clears throat> it's actually 120 times. But you know what? I, I like to be a little conservative, you know, uh, uh, under promise and over deliver, because if you over promise and under deliver, people come asking you and it's your, it's your name, your family name that is at risk. So um, I don't know if it's worth it for you or not, but for me personally, it certainly is not worth it. So this is where I believe we are doing a very fantastically ethical business. And without further ado, it took six minutes already just to break into the intro, but I'll uh, just take you through the company presentation. I'm going to share my screen here. Uh, gentlemen, only if you don't see it, please interrupt and let me know. Otherwise, if you see it, we are all good, and I'll just carry on. So gold, silver, and bit 
excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, weather is terrible in England. Um, I'm catching a cold again. So, sorry, gold, silver, and Bitcoin in a single login. You have two items that have been traditionally considered halal. Uh, if you look back in history, gold dinar and silver dirham was the official currency of uh, uh, the dominant uh, rulership. Uh, even Saladin, I met a very lovely young Saladin today, but uh, even Saladin, uh, 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 the conqueror, he basically instituted a currency all by himself to get rid of all the small little currency. So there is economics involved even in making sure that, uh, you know, currency is uh, clean and clear and is not uh, uh, soiled by a debt. I've just used the Swiss logo here because we are a Swiss company. So this is Helvetia, uh, uh, the, the, uh, based on whom Switzerland is named. Uh, this is Argo Harris, the main company we're dealing with. And of course, we've got Bitcoin. So let's go straight into this. Swiss Gold Global founded just about uh, nine and a half years ago. <clears throat> uh, so I believe it was February 2008. Uh, and it's uh, all the company number registration number and all that is all available I don't want to burden you right now with it, but if anybody questions we are a proper legitimate registered company and uh, You know you cannot maintain a Zurich based company uh, And be a cowboy both at the same time, right? So we are a proper correctly structured company and we are accountable to a whole bunch of uh, uh, authorities that monitor the trade that we do. <clears throat> so we are licensed distributors of Argo Harris. Who is Argo Harris? Very simple. They are the number one gold and silver precious uh, uh, metal refinery on the planet in history. So they're not just Swiss, but they are at the very apex of the finest quality. And you know this because they supply Swiss watches with all their components and anything that is very high precision you will authorize Argo Harris to get it done. Even the Russians and the Chinese, when they have their uh, gold ore to be refined, they send it to Argo Harris. They are a referee refiner with the top authority, London Bullion Market Association. So the LBMA governs the physical trade of uh, uh, precious metal, and Argo Harris are a referee refiner. There's only five in the world, okay? They can basically disqualify other refiners. So you have a refiner called uh, Tin Pot and Company, from somewhere or the other, um, Argo Harris, if they find that the gold is not good uh, and uh, not according to certification, they can disqualify them without talking to the LBMA. This is how powerful this company is. We get access to them for the wholesale price, gold and silver. You didn't hear it wrong. Wholesale price is what you get access to. Now go out there and tell all those people doing silver business with another company and a gold business with another company, tell them we do wholesale business and we have the strategic partnership partnership with Genesis Mining of Germany. Now, uh, Argo Harris, when I made this presentation, uh, was a, a Swiss-based entity owned by two or three different shareholders, but it has since been now owned 100% by the Herreus family of Germany. Although they are headquartered in Switzerland, the family ownership is German, and that's why I've got these two flags up here. Genesis Mining is also a German company based in Munich, uh, if necessary, I think we should all maybe do a trip down to Munich and uh, visit the, the office and by prior arrangement and, and just go and take a few selfies out there. You know, but Genesis Mining are where we get our Bitcoin from. Swiss Gold Global do not have any mining operation on their own. We don't do Bitcoin on our own. We are 100% totally dependent on Genesis Mining. But because of that, we offer Genesis Mining products at cost. So people usually ask, well, why bother going to Genesis? Uh, why bother going to Cisco Global? Why not go to Genesis? Well, it's a fair point. Yeah, you can go to Genesis all you like, and you'll be one of the uh, millions of members, and you'll be lost in a pool, and you'll be searching Twitter for the latest uh, news and development. We act as a team. We act as a family. Um, we have the same cost, so you're not losing anything by coming to us. There's, you're not worse off by coming to Swiss Gold Global instead of going straight to Genesis Mining. So you lose nothing to begin with. In fact, you gain a little more because from day one, you earn more with us than you would with Genesis. I'll explain that in just a moment. But um, <clears throat> more, more than that, you know, when you earn your Bitcoin mining rewards, you're actually able to convert them to gold and silver, which Genesis mining cannot help you with. You see, we are older than Genesis mining, and we've been a proper licensed distributor uh, for much longer than Genesis mining. So here's some uh, idea for you. 
gold, silver, and Bitcoin, do an independent price check. I'm happy to do this live with you at another session if you like. We can go through bullionbypost.co.uk, which is the number one UK online retailer. You find any other website you want, and it's very simple. Let me actually uh, briefly just show you what I mean. So if I just go here to uh, bullionbypost.co.uk, I have it loaded up already. Um, now, basically, I can go to uh, – this is live, yeah? So I'm not, I'm not uh, uh, fibbing or anything. Um, so you go to gold bars. There you go, gold bars, right? You go to gold bars, and uh, you, you look at all the different sizes they have, which is, you know, very nice and, uh, you know, uh, whoopie do. But let's say, let's say go for the five tola gold bar, okay? I don't know if, uh, let's go for 50 gram. Five tola, I don't know if Argo Herrera is doing it, but let's go for 50 gram gold bar. Click on that. You see, the price you were shown is 1656, but that is for any other brand, yeah? When you come to... Herreus, it is 1679. It is already more expensive than all the others. Why? Why does a retailer do that? Why would they charge you a little bit more? Now, here is Metalo. It is slightly more. Uh, I, I honestly don't know why, because Metalo and Yumicor are basically at par. They're both German refiners. But this is what you need to look at. Now, let's say 1679. You go in there, click, and you will see straight away. Uh, that 1679 only applies if you buy 10 or more. So you have to spend 10, 10 and a half grand to get that price that they were showing on the front page. Your actual price is 1682 if you buy just a single bar. So these are the little tricks you may not know when buying a gram of gold. So if you know, uh, uh, you know an older family or somebody you know that you know, is putting, uh, to them it means a lot to put money into gold and silver, Make sure you are able to guide them and you can learn these little tricks by yourself and know that we actually beat this price and I can prove it to you in just a moment. So this Herreus bar is more expensive than its competition because of the brand name and the brand matters. Why? Because when you have to sell it back, you want an open, independent website like this to be able to sell your gold. So it has to be a brand that is openly and freely sold in the market and resold in the market. What are you going to do with your uh, uh, gold? Are you going to stick it in a kebab? You can't. You know, you can't eat it. You can't spread it on a slice of bread. So what are you going to do with it? When you need to liquidate it, you need to be able to liquidate it against something else that is of use to you. Otherwise, it will just sit there in the corner of your cupboard and gather dust. It's usually, I know how uh, Asian mindset works. Uh, anyway, it's usually in a disused handbag of the missus at the top uh, level of the cupboard. That's where the passports and all the other important papers are, can, are kept. And along with them is usually the jewelry and everything else. That's the normal, typical way of uh, running it. I mean, that's statistically what I know of. But you know, this is basically the point. Um, you've got uh, uh, the best quality in the world, cheaper than what they're able to offer, and we can prove it. And we can prove it over and over again. Now, you may get a little bit of plus minus on the exchange rate and all that, but guys, you can you get to sell this back at 0% if you must. If you're a member with us, you can sell it at no spread at all. Whereas if you wanted to sell gold, sell gold bar, 100 gram, you see? Here you'll see what happens. If you sell one gram of 100, uh, one bar of 100 gram, 29.81 to sell, yeah? Buy 100 gram is how much? 29.81. And gold bars to buy 100 gram. Where's the 100 gram? 29.81. Before I forget it, 29.81. And you can't even buy it for less than 3,200. Yeah, 3,200 to 2,900 or 32 to 3,000. Let's say is still a reasonable eight, nine, ten percent. Yeah. With us, if you had to sell your gold in the back office, if you leave it in the back office, if you leave it in Switzerland, and you wanted to liquidate it, you get to sell it for whatever the price is actually going in the market on the next day's uh, price fix, yeah? So it's, it's very, very competitive. These guys don't even touch us on this kind of competitiveness, right? So this is why I wanted to introduce this idea that, you know, whether it's Bitcoin mining, <clears throat> gold and silver, you can independently verify this and do some research on your own. If you're confused about something, we can do this Hangout once more. So what do we do? It's very simple. Uh, if you are a free account member, these top three, the two green and one yellow, the top three are a free member. Anybody can join as a free member as long as you're 18 plus and have a photo ID 
and are able to sign your name on an agreement and scan it back, you can become a member with us. Very simple. Okay? You can save gold and silver from just 25 bucks a month, or you can buy Bitcoin mining from $30 at a time. Uh, per month, you can buy anything between 25 bucks and 3,000 US dollars a month. So you can you just set up the system <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me, and the system will uh, automatically just keep taking money out of your debit credit card. Uh, or better still, if you're able to bank wire, then that's lower charges. And uh, you, you will automatically be monthly converting uh, your dying paper pounds and dollars, which are doing nothing and are about to crash, I believe. You'll be converting them in something that has eternal value. And in 5,000 years, nobody's been able to deny the value of gold and silver. Nobody so far, uh, except when it uh, became radioactive in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That's when it became useless, but only for a short while. All right, so Bitcoin you can buy unlimited from 30 up to uh, $1,950 at a time. So about $2,000 worth you can buy in mining. And I'll explain how that all, all that works. But basically, when you buy as a free member, you're buying at fixed plus 2.97%. That's how fine and thin our pricing is. That's why we call ourselves wholesale price. So from the institutional fixed price, we charge 2.97%. And out of that, 1% is paid to your sponsor. So the company only pay, makes 1.97%, which is you know modest. And the company has to be profitable, right? So you buy and sell at exactly the same spread. Buy and sell gold and silver at exactly the same spread. For Bitcoin mining, you buy it at cost. Whatever you see on Genesis website is the same price you will get with us. Um, sometimes <clears throat> they have special offers where they don't necessarily update our system. So we may be lagging a little bit. But just for those special offers, I don't think uh, people ought to be rushing necessarily over there because then you've got a scattered portfolio. But here you've got everything under one house, nice and tidy, and it does the job marvelously. Usually 99% we offer uh, the same mining at exactly the same cost. Okay, Even when the uh, deals come in, just let us know. We'll let Genesis know, and we can adjust the price, and we can uh, uh, make you whole later on most of the time. If it doesn't happen, don't count my word for it. But uh, most of the time, we are transparent enough to do that. Now, sell price, you can't sell a Bitcoin mining contract. It's a lifetime contract. It'll keep churning out Bitcoin in your favor until the power runs out. And when the power runs out, your contract is over. But if it gives you 120% in the first year, and hopefully, if the price keeps going up, it should give you way more than that in the second year even. So you know, it's, it's looking very, very healthy right now. So. Uh, and not just that, this is the best way to buy Bitcoin because you're getting fed a small little tiny amount of Bitcoin every single day. No matter what the price of Bitcoin is, you will be getting your share according to the actual algorithm. And <clears throat> as far as buying Bitcoin outright in the market is concerned, you, know, you buy it at $3,500 today and tomorrow it crashes to $3,000. You're looking at a $500 loss. And then you're wondering, you know, I should have maybe timed it better. <coughs> Bitcoin mining, you don't even have to worry about the timing. Any time is a good time to start Bitcoin mining, because basically it's just spitting out little by little Bitcoin into your independent external wallet on the whole. The affiliate side is exactly the same as the upper side, except for one major difference. Uh, well, two differences, really. But um, when you sell as a member, as an affiliate member, when you're selling back your gold and silver, the institutional fixed price is the price that you will get. There is no spread because uh, for members, the company doesn't want to charge anything at all. Uh, and we are OK not to make any profit. So if you wanted to sell all your gold and silver holdings, you're free to do them. Zero cost, provided you're an affiliate member. That should alone be enough incentive to upgrade from free to affiliate. Why? Because you know your storage in Switzerland is free uh, with the affiliate program anyway. So if you went to Barclays, they charge you 300 pounds a year just to you know, give you a tiny little safety deposit box. With us, you can save as much as you want in grams or even bars if you convert them to bars. <coughs> so <clears throat> you're getting a Swiss precious metals account, practically uh, a free service attached to it, and you're selling it at wholesale price, which is more competitive than anything on United Kingdom soil today or even the there's a couple of uh, companies that are planning to launch something, but I've looked at their uh, proposal and no, but they, they will not come anywhere near us. <coughs> so 
what happens here? If you're a free member, actually, you can introduce other free members and get 2.5% bonus. Ordinarily, we pay 5% if you're an affiliate. So if you're an affiliate, we pay you 5% in bonus, which is nice. You know, you can you can have 5%, uh, and that's that's quite healthy uh, percentage. So just like an ad pack, every time somebody buys more mining, you get 5%. They buy some more, you get 5%. They buy some more, you get 5%. And it's just a never-ending saga because you would want to grow your tomato field as wide and uh, long as possible. You would want to grow your orchard as big as possible. You don't want to restrict the overall growth when you're seeing growth coming. And here the growth is based on a machine, not based on some kind of clickable uh, ad packs uh, where you know if somebody stops paying into the system, the whole thing collapses. Here, nobody's going to stop paying into Bitcoin mining because Bitcoin mining doesn't work on the same principle. But what happens is, for a free member, what we've done is, uh, if you deserve to earn 5%, what we've done is we take 25 and give it to you, and the other 25 goes to the affiliate. This is very juicy if you're an affiliate because you can get paid unlimited levels deep. For example, free member introduces free member, introduces free member. I'll explain that in a moment. Each time so anyone in between buys uh, uh, <coughs> uh, mining, they get 2.5% for themselves, but you're the last paid affiliate member in that chain. That means you get the other two and a half percent. That's how we split up the five percent. Very simple, very straightforward. You get nothing on the metal. Well, you didn't put anything into the system, so why would you make any on the metal? And if you wanted to earn, just upgrade, and you can earn uh, the full compensation plan. But if you're an affiliate, you will earn one percent on one level. So if you know somebody that has a huge appetite for gold and silver, just let them buy. You'll be getting one percent on whatever amount they buy. Yeah, they don't need to upgrade. If they're buying huge quantities already, they probably don't need the affiliate income that is attached to our compensation plan, right? So what do you pay to join? Uh, first of all, I'd like to break this down into two categories. The upper here is silver, uh, miner and silver package. <coughs> Excuse me. The miner and the silver package are entry level packages where you pay $50 monthly to maintain your membership active. If you lapse this membership, you default to becoming a free member. You don't have to buy these packages over and over again. You don't. Once you buy, you're a member. Then just make sure your package remains active at $50 a month, either in the minor or in the silver membership. OK? Why is the 50 there? Well, you're getting uh, mining at cost plus 5% in bonus. You're getting wholesale priced gold and silver. Where is the company going to pay you from? Anything else. So this is basically what feeds the system. This is the compensation plan for business developers. This is the cost of ownership of a business. If you want to own a business, $600 per year is roughly what it'll cost. 50 times 12 is 600. Now, if you go for the gold membership, if you can afford it, <coughs> excuse me. 600 is already included in there. Therefore, you pay nothing monthly for a whole year. And when you come back next year, you can then decide. If you've built up a five, six figure income for yourself in the meantime, uh, you know, paying 600 won't hurt you. If you've not done anything with it, and I've seen so many people not doing anything at all and falling away, well, you know, then you can lapse and go back to being uh, a free member. Um, so th there's no compulsion to remain an active affiliate. Active affiliate are for business-minded people who can see what a genius platform this is and who, without you know, questioning it twice, hang on, let me just, this is slightly annoying. So I'm just going to, um, oops. <clears throat> Uh, this is not this is not the presentation, but it's okay. We'll carry on with this. No worries. <coughs> Excuse me. So basically, um, uh, yeah, gold membership is six hundred included, and that's what that's all it is. All the others, uh, the executive, the ambassador, and the platinum have the six hundred annual membership already included, which gives you free vault storage unlimited in Switzerland. And Dubai, if you choose Dubai, you can elect Dubai. You can have your stuff delivered to Dubai. And anyone visiting Dubai Multi-Commodity Center can go there and collect it from our warehouse with prior appointment, no problem. Uh, $600 includes uh, the, the, uh, the, the whole storage works, plus 0% sellback, which means you know if you're selling $10,000 worth to pay 3% on $10,000 uh, is, is quite a lot of money. Yeah, 
uh, you save that if you were going to sell large chunks of gold uh, in and out, depending on what your requirement is. Um, on top of that, um, you know, uh, for all these packs, you don't have to worry about the $50 monthly. But obviously, this is for people with slightly deeper wallets. What else is included? Well, wherever there is a metal content included, $50 for the silver, $150 for gold, $800 and $1,200, respectively, for ambassador and platinum. These are the metal components that you select before you buy. Uh, you can choose gold or silver. Uh, with silver, you get silver, but for the others, you can choose either gold or silver or a combination thereof. And uh, this is what you get up front. So basically, out of your five grand, you only have 3,800 that you've spent because the rest came back to you in actual wholesale priced gold. It is your own gold, right? You, you're not, you didn't pay uh, uh, away on a service that is going to disappear. That 1,200 will maintain its value for years and years to come. So if it does so, um, you know, you've not actually spent five grand. You've just converted dying paper into an everlasting uh, commodity, and you've only actually spent 3,800. But all of our packages include upfront mining, and according to each of these mining uh, strengths in the back office, you will be earning, uh, 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 you know, daily Bitcoin paid out to you. Now, the 200 up here, these are too small. They're really, really weak. They're just to give you a taste. You might get one payment every six or seven days, um, depending on Bitcoin profitability. <coughs> but <coughs> this is not the one. Uh, uh, this is not meant to uh, change your life overnight by spending $250. Yeah, um, But you can get all of these these big fat packages as a bonus, which I'll explain next. What's the difference between the miner and the silver? Well, miner is simply silver minus the uh, precious metal content. That's it. No, no metals included. Therefore, it's a little cheaper. And instead of the thirteen dollars worth of metal, you get. By the way, this fifty dollar in the silver every month will give you twenty five percent back in silver anyway. So you are accumulating silver throughout the year, little by little. Um, if you instead of the fifty went for the annual membership, it just gets gets paid up front to you as 150 bucks. Okay, that's that's all it is. That's the difference. But 25% of 13, uh, uh, $50 is 13. And this is what you get in the silver membership. If you go for the miner instead, you get 100 giga hash per second of mining power instead. The miner and the executive miner, this one here, was designed for countries like uh, Nigeria, Ghana, India, Pakistan, and Vietnam, because you cannot deliver physical metals into those countries. It's either not safe or there are restrictions from the government. Um, so therefore, um, those members said, well, we don't need the precious metals. We can buy locally here if necessary. But what about the mining packages? Can we just get access to mining? So these packages were created for them, but you also have access to the same. How it actually works, I'll explain that in just a moment. Fast track, what do you get if you're a paid affiliate? Any level, doesn't matter what level. You come in at any level, whatever you're comfortable with. There's no upselling here. There's no hard selling here. This is a very transparent, honest business. And if you want to do it any differently, it's your choice. But I would always tell you, do what is right for your audience, and they will thank you, they will remain loyal, and they will be with you for a very long time to come. OK? So this is my attitude to building business. Uh, it's slower. And more painful, <coughs> excuse me. But you know, I hope uh, I have not. I'm not earning pointless disrespect in the market, which is the case with uh, some some you know commission-driven people. But here's what what you get basically: for every miner you introduce, for every silver, for every what do you get? You get thirty-five bucks for a miner, three hundred for an executive, five hundred bucks for a platinum member. On top of that, this is the fast track bonus. This is what you get paid cash upfront as a thank you. On top of that, you get paid a unilevel bonus. This is what feeds the multi-level marketing system. This unilevel bonus can go down seven levels deep and unlimited levels wide. So you're not stuck in a binary where you have to build a power leg all the time and keep struggling to recruit people in on the other side. No, sir, here you can just simply bring in people as and when you can. And for each additional member you bring in, you will earn something. Plus, when they bring in somebody else over a year, you will earn roughly this amount per new member, Yeah, depending on what level they come in at. Now, bonus is what 
you earn. So you, you not only earn cash bonus, this is dollar cash, $90 cash here, $500 cash here. You don't only earn, just earn a cash bonus, you also earn a 3,000 giga hash per second bonus, worth 450 bucks. Plus, when these people, these new members, buy any gold or set up an automatic monthly savings program, you'll keep getting fed 1% on the metals as well. And each time they buy more mining, you'll get fed 5% on the Bitcoin mining as well. So this is basically how much you earn. You have upfront big ticket plus upfront residual. Why? Because mining pays you over the year. So it'll keep dripping Bitcoin into your wallet. Yeah, so this is long-term residual, high ticket, long-term residual, and basically compound effect as well. This is the magic of our system. If you can even begin to comprehend what these numbers represent, you're on your way to a six-figure income if you just get going with a solid, good team build. Okay, basically $5,000 is what the platinum package cost, and the person who paid that already got $1,200. Yeah, you get $500. Plus 450, 950, 950 plus 90 is 1,040. You get 1,040 out of dear 5,000. Yeah? What does that mean? Wow, that's, that's 20%. You get 20% of 5,000. So let's say you had the budget to come in as a platinum. Your target for the rest of the year is to bring in just five more platinums. What are you going to get? You, go, you already have your $1,200 of gold yourself. And when your new five platinums come in, you're going to get five times 500, 2,500. So half your money is recovered straight away there. $450 worth of mining power per member. That's 15,000 15, giga hash of mining. Hang on a minute. 15,000 is what you got with the platinum membership to begin with. So when you introduce five more people, you're basically doubling your mining power. You see the magic here. You're doubling your mining power because what essentially this package contains is it came, contains just over $1,000 set aside just to pay you your commissions. Because all the other products and services are literally at cost. There's nothing more you can do. And 20% is healthy. If anybody else disagrees with that, then you know, I have to question, is that a Ponzi or not? Here we can't possibly be a Ponzi because by the time you get Argo Jerez delivered to your doorstep, you will know. You can take it to your local uh, Birmingham uh, uh, you know, uh, jewelry quarter and get it verified from those people and then you can shout, make a selfie video and shout from the rooftops, I've got the best gold and I've got it cheaper than all these shops in here. And at the same time, you're getting your mining power from Genesis. Look, we don't have any mining power. So we know it comes from Genesis because that's a strategic agreement. So when you get everything like this, that's how we have built in a percentage into all of these to pay the affiliates. That's as simple as how this uh, compensation plan works. If somebody accuses us of this of being a Ponzi scheme, they need to understand how uh, a dealership sells uh, new cars. <clears throat> For that matter, old cars, yeah? When they buy back your second-hand car, they give you a lower price. They mark it up and clean it and polish it, and they mark it up and sell it slightly higher. Your same car, they make a margin on it. Are they a Ponzi scheme? No, we are not a Ponzi scheme. We don't even do second-hand stuff. We're only doing brand new, straight from the refinery, in Switzerland, you cannot get higher than this. And I can assure you, if you speak to enough people, they will almost wish they had this system years ago and they'd started saving gold and silver over the years because by now they would be sitting on a lot of it. And since we've got mining, <coughs> excuse me, it's not too late. Uh, Bitcoin is catching a lot of attention out there in the market anyway. So we are in a wonderful, wonderful place. Right, so this is what you get basically when they come in in yellow here, they pay 170, 249, 797, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, up to 5,000. You get 12% of the cash itself, you get 20% of their mining power to you, you get 1% on any further metal they buy, and you get 5%. I mean, these are the percentages. You know, if you bring in a lot of miners, uh, uh, people with a slightly smaller budget, obviously, you know, you get 25% of the 170 bucks is yours to keep. 25% is healthy, plus you get 5.5% on the 200 giga hash. Now, you don't get more here. This could have been rejigged around, but there must be some reason why the CEO decided this is the play plan they're going to go. Why? Because we are actually uh, compliance approved by uh, 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 Mike Sheffield and Associates of Scottsdale, Arizona. The company compensation plan is designed 
to be legit in all 50 United States first and foremost, so that it is by default legit and acceptable in the rest of the world without us as a company having to go and register with every little direct selling association under the sun. That's just too cumbersome. It's painful. It's pointless. Uh, and then they might, you know, they might turn around and say, you need to tweak this. You need to tweak that. And otherwise, it's fine. We've just made sure we are uh, 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 legit and clean in the world's largest market. And by default, uh, they, that's where most of the network marketing companies are usually uh, uh, churning out millionaires anyway. And this is how we are put together. So we are put together with uh, the top lawyers in the world who have agreed that these are the percentages in cash and these are the percentages in mining bonus and our standard metal commission and our standard mining commission. What do you need to do? Well, very simple. Uh, as an affiliate, you can go. Uh, uh, if you want to build a whole lot of free people, if you have access to groups of people who are not bothered with <clears throat> MLM or uh, network marketing generally, don't even like it, but you have access to large numbers of people. Let's say I would stand in front of a classroom of final year uh, uh, graduation uh, students and I would tell them, you all need to just open a free account here. I would happily do that. So get me an audience 200 strong and I will talk to them on your behalf uh, when necessary. I'm willing to travel. But basically, they can come in for free. Yeah, you don't want to burden a student too much. But when they come in for free, they can introduce each other. They can build a free account below each other. So from free to free, 2.5%, from free to free, 2.5%, but that we pay out 5%, right? So the other 5% all comes back to you at level one because you're the paid affiliate. But if you built an affiliate team, where you bring in other affiliates and the other affiliates bring in other paid affiliates, we have something special for you. So when you bring in your first three members in 30 days of being approved, <coughs> excuse me, within 30 days of being approved, if you bring in three members and help them, help them to bring three each of their own. So each person brings three of their own. Yeah. And you are the one coordinating and helping them instead of taking every direct commission to yourself. You're helping them grow as well. The company will give you a bedrock bonus of 200 because you're building a stable and solid business instead of swallowing all the signups just for yourself, which uh, you know many of them will drop off later and then you'll be wondering what, what happened. Whereas if you can help people and genuinely help people build a business, the company will not only give you a bonus, but you will have a far more stable structure. And this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm not personally recruiting at the moment. Um, if somebody signs up, that's great, uh, but I'm not really focused on direct selling for myself. I'm helping people such as you, your audience, uh, to build you up and to give you the necessary information and the training so that you will grow stable first when you are stable, when you're seeing the income, when you're seeing the rank advancements, everything else will open up. And then it becomes basically child's play because you're in it. Your, your costs are more than covered. Your income is beginning to exceed your regular salaried income. And you can, you know, when you have two and a half to three times more than your salaried income, you can consider leaving uh, your regular job. And now you're a full-time network marketer. That's, that's normally the logic. <clears throat> Very simple. Get a sponsor's link complete the form and choose a package if you want to be an affiliate. If you don't want to be an affiliate, go for the free account, no problem. Upload KYC and the agreement. This is mandatory. Nobody gets to do anything unless you've uploaded your KYC and scanned in the agreement. The process is all there. We have hundreds of examples of people who have successfully done it. So when you have people who are struggling, it's usually a cookie issue with the, with the website and the server. Uh, you just need to delete your cookies and try again, and it usually works. <coughs> Excuse me. Even before your KYC is approved, you can use your link to sponsor others. If you're a fast track, aggressive marketer, you do not need to be KYC approved. The only thing that KYC does is basically you can't buy crypto mining with it. Number one, you can't buy it. Even if you buy it, you won't get paid on it. And the other thing it does is basically, if you earn any commissions at all, you can't withdraw those commissions. That's the only thing the KYC really uh, blocks you from, but it is mandatory because of the regulations. We need to make sure we know who you are to prevent all kinds of money laundering and ugly words used by regulators, okay? And then just rinse and repeat. You know, make your sponsor's link the sponsor's link and send it to people. 
get them to sign up, share this video, and rinse and repeat. Now, we get regular emails from the head uh, quarter. You will get those emails if you're an affiliate member. And there's fantastic, very high caliber training. We get people like Carolita Oliveros, who's you know the attorney that helped uh, Robert Kiyosaki Foundation uh, uh, do some international stuff, you know? So that kind of level of people we have, they come and they talk about wealth, they talk about economics, they talk about what's going on, they talk about uh, network marketing generally, because it is the only industry that has produced 80% of the female millionaires in the United States. Yeah? Because of the male female bias uh, in a career, especially in corporate America, Women get frustrated, take their talent to network marketing instead, and they thrive. And they've made millionaires, millions and millions of them have done very well for themselves. And 80% of all millionaires, basically, in the US are from network marketing. So, you know, she gives you insights like that. You know, so it's, it's amazing. Not the she. We've got a whole bunch of other people. It's all in the back office. You'll get to see it. We've got a FB training group for information. If you wanted to know anything, there's a Telegram chat group as well, which you see popping up every now and then on my screen. There's plenty of support and materials available, but basically all you have to do is understand the compensation plan. This is uh, the last page. This is where I'd made uh, a comparison between gold and silver versus other precious metals like platinum and palladium and rhodium. And some people say, why not diamonds and gemstones and uh, pearls or moti, hira moti and all that, you know? So when people say that, um, they don't often realize that, uh, yes, that they, have, they represent a lot of concentrated value in a small little object, but they're not bankable, yeah? Uh, uh, and when you go to sell a diamond, you'll be ripped off. You may not even get half the value that you paid originally because diamonds are basically an Oppenheimer family-driven scam and they launch diamonds into the world imagination using Hollywood. So, you know, if you want to know more stories like that, stay tuned to my channel, subscribe to this channel, and I keep trying to produce these kind of little snippets to give you some insight. But basically, diamonds and gemstones, if you break it, it's the total value is lost. Uh, if you cut gold and silver in half, you still have uh, the same value, but two halves by weight. That's that's the only difference that it makes. Okay, shares, securities, etc. You can look at this in one of our Facebook groups. You know, it's it's up there, um, and you'll be able to understand it if you take some time. But basically, in in a in a short and simple way, uh, this is what uh, we do. We we do a lot more than just MLM. We bring you awareness and understanding, and <coughs> excuse me, when people have questions to ask. Uh, we are more than happy to uh, uh, help using Hangouts because otherwise there'll be hundreds of people sending me individual messages and it becomes a little nightmare. So I'm going to park myself and have a little drink now. But if I can just ask one of our Mohammeds if you have been able to see any questions on the chat. And if uh, any one of you uh, want to ask, please go ahead. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm live, mate. Um, right, I've got a question which was asked um, earlier on today. Um, I'm going to fire two quick questions. One, which is, how many members does SGG have? And the second was asked was, which countries are accepted by SGG? and which are not so i guess this obviously means what you covered already in terms of packages which would benefit members in which countries but if you kind of shed some light because there are some networkers who work in different countries it would make it a little bit easier for them to approach so these two questions to start off with please okay as a rule of thumb um any network marketing company that wants to operate globally needs to avoid the fatca companies uh, countries so those are which are on the financial action task force uh, for money laundering terrorism and all kinds of things so there's a list of those fatca you can look it up and those countries should be avoided um we don't do business in any of those countries just to make sure that the bank behind uh, our in and out transactions doesn't get annoyed because you know they also have rules and regulations to observe and if they get a wrap on their wrist um, we face a significant business problem number one number two we are a swiss company so in theory we can accept anyone <clears throat> you need to think it through you're a swiss company if somebody opens an account online 
it's up to their country's browser or whatever to allow them access to the system. And if you're in doubt, uh, if you're a member, send an email to uh, support. Now, when you log in, top right-hand corner, help tag, just send them an email and ask them, is such and such country acceptable? I can tell you for a start, uh, you wouldn't want to do business in North Korea. So North Korea clearly is not on the list. Okay, uh, uh, the, the people just haven't got the money. They're starving. Uh, they're, they're 216th out of 230 countries in, in poverty. So their leadership, well, guess what? The, the current boss in North Korea, he's Swiss educated. So they must have had some ways of funding and getting things done. So something happens uh, behind the doors. But as far as network marketing is concerned, no, because on social media, you can't say I've got a team build going on in North Korea and Pyongyang is exploding and going to the moon. You can't say that because that will be taken very, very uh, strongly. Okay, But we are a Swiss company. And for that reason, we also do not normally disclose how many members we have. Why? Because uh, company-specific data, we get a lot of attacks coming in. We've got a fend off. Look, we're dealing with precious metals, and we're dealing with Bitcoin. Okay, So as far as I'm concerned, uh, the team visible to me is 6,000. I joined last year. The company is nine years old. How does a company actually do business? We've got a presentation to show you pictures of the company operating in places like Ukraine, or Tajikistan, Uzbekistan. Uh, they're all offline. Online, we are not that heavy. We are not so loud. Yeah, but offline we do in business in very very interesting countries. Just send a message to support and tell them, will this password be acceptable to you? Switzerland usually is a lot more relaxed than say compared to Germany uh, or France or, or any others. They they will be all very uptight. Switzerland is like business. Yeah, okay, sure, bring it in. You know, so you can do business. We can do business in India, Pakistan for sure. Nigeria and Ghana, we've got an office in Nigeria. We've got a resident director working there. We just don't have an, a physical office, but we have a, a, a registered company. No point in spending on a physical office unless you've got daily footfall into your office. What's the point in sitting on empty real estate, right? So it's, it's just a clever way of doing things. Um, the main business model that's been developing over the last uh, uh, um, uh, nine years is this. One person who is a uh, church leader in Florida. They have a 10,000 captive audience in their Florida mega church. Yeah, if they're an affiliate, they bring in practically everybody. All they have to do is preach on the virtues of gold and silver according to well, biblical teaching. <coughs> and when people understand, yes, I've got to save more of this and less of the uh, dollar, which is not uh, uh, in alignment with Christian theology, then you have a very clear. Uh, uh, audience right there. Now, how many of those 10,000 people sign up? I don't know. I don't have visibility on that. How many uh, uh, people then upgrade to becoming an affiliate? Again, I don't know. I tried asking Bill this. He was very diplomatic in saying, look, there are some, <clears throat> some pieces of information we just don't give away. Unlike other companies, this is not a rev share. We don't have to boast we've got 200,000 mem members in the first two months and then Three months later, it collapses. You know, We don't need to do that. This is a regular network marketing company. And because of the very sensitive nature of what we're doing, gold and silver is hated by all the banks, Yeah, especially the sort of uh, uh, Rothschild cabal that used to run <coughs> the uh, London uh, 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 price fix twice. Endlessly, you know, and people never noticed. Oh, they're fixing the price. <coughs> Excuse me. You try fixing a cricket match and all hell breaks loose. Whereas here they were fixing gold price for donkey's years and nobody questioned them. That's how powerful they are. So basically, outside of them, we are operating, we're basically stepping on some of those really powerful toes, but we're doing it very quietly, we're bringing in gold and silver to the masses. We're using the infrastructure that they created, London Bullion Market Association and the whole chain of integrity and how it's refined. They have done it for their benefit. They have created, it's almost like, for example, if you got your hands on a Israeli F-35 jet fighter with Israeli avionics on it, uh, that's gold dust because it's better than what the Americans made. The Israelis strip it out and put in something better of their own, which is more useful for their local area communication. That is gold dust. You could sell it to China for 10 times the price, right? 
So if that is the logic behind, um, oops, sorry, oh, my daughter. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Um, so you know, if, if if you got hold of something so precious, so if if a Rothschild created banking system that they have created to benefit themselves, and you get to access a little bit of that, that's like gold dust, right? So this is why we are very discreet. We're very quiet. You know, and I'm not talking about the Rothschilds too much here, but basically we are in a in the right system, uh, and we need to maintain a certain Swiss class about this. We, after all, our metal supplier provides gold to Rolex, so we have to act accordingly. Uh, we don't wear long coats and say, you know, do you, want, do you want one of those watches? We don't do that kind of business. So I hope this this kind of answers because I really don't have the numbers. Visibility to me when I joined was six thousand. Um, well, soon after I joined was you know, six thousand. That's my visibility roughly now. With you guys coming on board, it's ticking up a little by a couple of hundred here and there. Um, few people dropped out in the meantime. <clears throat> Because some people just don't know how to market it. They just, they, uh, also, even if they don't know how to market it, um, they just give up too easily. And that's unfortunately what happened. And a lot of people think, oh, if I join a $7 cheap little program, that might make me a millionaire. Um, they, they don't know what maths they're doing. You know, um, Here, we've got fat commissions, residual income, and you know, uh, uh, a very healthy uh, bonus structure. But these finer details are closed. It is Swiss, and for that reason, I, I don't know. I can't tell you. I hope that's okay. That's perfectly fine, Prim. Thank you for answering the questions. So that's brilliant. Um, one other question has come through for they have asked, where do you see Bitcoin heading towards? Your personal opinion. Okay, so I have a, a presentation already on YouTube. Um, uh, it's the Bitcoin mining review. And in that, I have given the actual numbers of the journey of Bitcoin so far. So if you understand the journey that Bitcoin has made so far and marry that with the level of public acceptance generally across the world and especially with uh, the, the, the governments of Japan and Australia, uh, and a few other, uh, you know, even the European Court of Justice just uh, recently ruled um, that, you know, Bitcoin should be VAT free and a tradable currency. And they told the Swedes not to apply any VAT on it because they're like, why would you apply VAT on a currency? How can you con call it a commodity and just start charging uh, uh, VAT on it? So there is <clears throat> a, a massive movement happening. There are people already who are much wiser than me will give you figures of quarter million in two years to five uh, half a million in three years and all sorts i'm not willing to do that <coughs> excuse me because um uh it wh what purpose does it serve so on a day-to-day -day basis yeah when you're doing your day-to-day -day work life uh, family and all the other things and your commitments uh, on a day-to-day -day basis you are interested in what's the percentage return I made today, and if the price went up, what is I making tomorrow? If the price went down, uh, how much am I losing? And actually, you lose very little compared to if you were directly buying Bitcoin. So if you are, let's say, if you had a hundred grand, you put in all of it in Bitcoin, and it crashes by twenty percent. Sometimes when it crashes, it goes to forty percent, right? So hundred grand becomes sixty grand. Then you're thinking, oh no, I should have bought at this level because I could have then waited for it to go back up. But now you're sitting on a heavy bag of Bitcoin that you don't want to sell because you don't want to book a loss. Um, you don't want to necessarily convert it either because for that you need to have a trading uh, experience and have a trading mindset. And uh, you don't know what to do with it. Instead, if you buy Bitcoin mining instead, you're spending cash dollars on Bitcoin mining and it doesn't matter whether it goes up or down. It's just feeding you every single day. It's just coming through, coming in, coming in. Yes, we had a couple of days, a few days of uh, disruption recently. One because of a hack, and second because of the hard fork. But it's now being <clears throat> being regularized. You know, as far as I know, everybody's been getting their uh, coins uh, paid regularly. It's a great company we're with, and they have a vision. Look, when Bitcoin crossed a thousand for the first time in December last year. Yeah, not for the first time, but for the first time as far as you and I know. Yeah, it crossed, it went from 900 and shot through 
around New Year, just after, <coughs> excuse me, just around the Christmas period, it went through 1,000. And people were like, whoa, this is going to the moon and blah, blah, blah. And then it went to 1,900 and came crashing down. Yeah, it came crashing down to about 1,100. So anyone getting it at 1,900 being very excited is keeping an eye on the price. They're chasing after the price, but they're forgetting the actual capital loss they're able to book or they end up booking, which doesn't make any sense. Why, why would you want to do that? So don't go with the hype. Go with the system where basically we, the miners, were making something like 60% before December. When it went through to 1,000, we were making 70-something percent. In January, we were making 80-something percent. And now it's at 3,000. Even though the difficulty has shot up, really come really high up, uh, the difficulty and the price are more or less together, right? Even then, we are now making more than 120%. So the difficulty goes up. The value of Bitcoin goes up, and therefore people are willing to pay more for each new Bitcoin created because they want to accumulate more, and mining is where the real, uh, logical, sensible people will go, unless you want to speculate. Then you don't come crying that it's crashed or whatever. So I'm not really willing to give you a, a price range because I'm not looking at a price range. All I'm looking at is, well, you know, it's easy peasy for Bitcoin to uh, break through 5,000 in just a few weeks from now. Um, but it's real momentum, the real volume of actual net new, brand new dollars that will come into Bitcoin is when you start hearing around September time, coming September, you start hearing the noise from the banking system that we are back to square one, like we were in 2008, 2009. That bankrupted a whole lot of entities. And it's destabilized an entire region. Remember, 2008, 2009 had to happen for food price inflation to be 40% in Egypt so that the Arab Spring could really flame up and flare up the way it was. There's no such thing as Arab Spring. I, I personally, personally know who, who actually is playing around there. It's Al Ikhwan, which is the Brotherhood. Yeah, so there's no like. Um, uh, some foreign entity acting. They'd have been around, you know, they're the ones who got rid of uh, uh, Abdul Gamal Nasser and everything else. So I know my history, I know uh, what's been going on in the region, and I can assure you the credit crisis fed in through fuel somewhere else. It wasn't meant to, but it triggered something somewhere else. And somewhere else it just flared up and went out of control. It had to be kind of brought back into control, but who in the region was going to do it? Unfortunately, the people to exercise control were the worst people to do it. So if you remember, think back, you know, when Libya was for the first time bombed, it was the French. Why did they do it? They were itching, like, you know, let us go in there. Do we have EU approval? Do we have EU approval? The moment they got it, whoa, bam, they went in and started bombing uh, Tripoli and uh, all the other uh, little towns. So the worst people that shouldn't have messed around were messing around there. These are all unintended consequences. But what it does is it creates instability, and that instability is what makes the investing public. You may not know politics. You may not know the differences going on in the world and the schemes and the various uh, organizations that are doing stuff in the world. You may not pay attention to any of that, right? I do. And I do it from a academic, academic point of view. So if you want to watch coming Wednesday, I'll have another Hangout. Uh, it's titled, uh, you know, Bitcoin Banking and the Beast, the Mark of the Beast, which a lot of people talk about, you know, what's the Mark of the Beast? Its number is 666, and that's the number of the Antichrist. <coughs> I'm going to cover some of that from an academic perspective, not, you know, from any other motivation. Why? Because when these uncertainties play in, two things do happen. Investors look for safety, and investors get out of volatility. So the volatility will shoot up, negative volatility for the stock market when the banks start messing around again, and positive volatility for Bitcoin and gold, and you're just in the right place. This is why I do what I do, because there's a lot of reasoning behind it. There's a lot of understanding that the public isn't aware of. Yeah? Last time the credit crunch happened, who told you to get your money out of Northern Rock? Who told you? that Bradford and Bingley would vanish and disappear forever? Who told you Alliance and Leicester would be swallowed up? 
Who told you that all these big institutions would just disappear? AIG, your insurances were at stake. You know, at one point they were discussing that nobody's going to get paid out on their life insurance even. You know, because if AIG went under, there's not enough money available. So they had to fudge the numbers and kind of save uh, AIG. So, you know, all these things have been happening and they haven't gone away. Uh, but instead of coming at it with doom and gloom, what we do instead is we tell you, look, the fantastic, shiny, brand new, uh, fire refined gold and silver in your hand. Have some for the next generation. They will thank you. They will certainly, the, the generations will remember you for having the wisdom to do this. If you just turn around and think if your forefathers left tons of gold behind for you, you'd be sorted, right? Uh, but they probably didn't know. They, they trusted first the empire rupee and then the Pakistan rupee and the Indian rupee. And they could just had to keep trusting whoever was in charge. And whoever was in charge, unfortunately, always disappointed them, regardless of which type of ruler it was. They were always disappointments. Um, so, you know, this is the point. Uh, uh, we do gold and silver because it is going to shoot very sharply. The chart of gold will beat the chart of Bitcoin even at some point in the future. So I don't know when, but uh, you know, keep an eye out. And around September is usually when uh, the financial markets start catching cold, and then they start sneezing out. Uh, by the end of September, October, they start uh, showing you their temperature, basically. So that is a good time when Bitcoin should do well. If it doesn't do well, then maybe there is some way that they are able to manipulate it. But historically speaking, uh, September is always bad. It's not just 9-11 is uh, important to the people that created 9-11. It's important, September is important to them. It's also the time uh, approaching Halloween. Um, and also, uh, you know, as far as they're concerned, uh, uh, all major financial crashes were September. Yeah, so September is important to them and they usually do something. Also logically, even without going into any conspiracy theory, even just logically, uh, September is important because by uh, July, the companies have closed their first half income reports. So all the companies that are listed companies that need to report earnings have closed their first half books from January through to uh, June. This is not financial half, this is calendar half. So when it comes out as uh, half year reporting, <clears throat> even if they delay it to April and report it that way, the results start coming out around September, October, and that's when uh, uh, the market is always usually nervous and the volatility index keeps popping up and down. So these are just a little few pointers to look out for, but um, Bitcoin could be 100 grand uh, in a few weeks if, uh, if, uh, if uh, a major disastrous geopolitical event took place. Um, but if it goes on this way, then well, it's gone from 1,000 in December to three and a half thousand now in eight months. If uh, in eight months it's done 35% uh, performance, you should expect a similar performance going forward. Expect 35% more from here, unless something goes horribly wrong, which we don't know. You know, you don't know if a meteorite comes or whatever. You don't know if uh, <clears throat> you know the fat boy with a funny haircut in North Korea starts throwing some missiles around. You don't know what's going to happen. So, you know, no point in talking numbers, but I thought I'll give you a general overview if that is helpful. By the way, if you enjoy the content, do give us a up like. Uh, that'll be appreciated. But any other questions, Mamad? Yeah, that was wonderful, Prem. Thank you for the information you've shared with us. It's, uh, it's always a pleasure listening to you. Um, the question I had, I mean, if, if you're from a few of my other people because of another business I did as well, I just wanted to know, I mean, get your intake because you, you, you've got a lot of experience in this. Um, just give us some information on rev shares, how they work. Um, is it a sustainable business? Um, also, with uh, not out at the moment, people are saying this, this currency coming out, this currency coming out, paying, buying, buying, and you get so much. And I like it. Please tell me all about this. I, I need to know because I need to know how to be safe and play it safe. I know Bitcoin exists. I know gold and silver we can get to SGG. Do a wonderful job for us the cater for all our needs in terms of fiat currency gold silver and also uh, bitcoin mining as well please give me your expertise your advice and what to look out for how to um you know how to find who's real who's sincere who's true who is not we need i need we really need to know this so i can share this with the world and share this with with, with people i've got in my other businesses as well 
please. Thank you. I'm sure, I'll try. That's a big ask, actually. You want me to cover ref shares and new cryptos, um, which are two separate things, clearly. But ref share is very, very simple. <clears throat> um, what are you told to do when you join a ref share? You're told to put in some money and buy a virtual product. Okay. And with that virtual product, what do you get? You get some service in return, credits. Uh, you get so many clicks and so many this and so many that so you can promote your business. Fine. So when a ref share starts, if it has only 10 people and those 10 people are promised a return of just 1%, you've got 10 bucks to pay to 10 people. Fine. Yeah. They themselves may have put in 100 each or just 10 each. Let's go with just 10 each. Yeah. And they, 10 people put in 10 each. That's 100 bucks. Out of the 100 bucks, 10 people are demanding one one dollar comes back to them every day because otherwise why would they join yeah that's why they join because they get paid on the ad packs which mature okay fine so hundred dollars are in the pot there's no more money come in there and from the hundred dollars you have a hundred days exactly actually 90 days or less than 90 days because you got paid 10 percent for each of those ad packs remember when uh 10 people buy 10 ad packs with ten dollars each um, there's only so much money they can pay. So let's say you've got 10% recruitment commission. <coughs> Other than that, you basically have got a $90 that you need to pay back to these people. So your shelf life of that program is 90 days. And then it will have to collapse unless new money comes in. But if you can say I'm earning 1% a day on a ref share, or even more in some cases, some aggressive ref shares, then you're able to make a bit of noise on the internet. And then you can bring other people in. So a point comes when you've got 100,000 mouths to feed and 100,000 mouths demanding $1 a day. And then they, out of them, maybe not even 20% will put in the hard work and the effort to actually promote. The rest just come in to say, oh, no, I, you know, they don't even have a Facebook profile. They don't even have your own face showing usually. But they'll join, they'll join groups, they'll chat and comment and do everything. But you know they're just there to make money somehow and get out. And uh, when they do that, that's uh, fine. You know, good luck to them. But when those hundred thousand mouths that need feeding get to be a million mouths, you have a giant problem. All this while, you've not been accumulating money. The company's been accumulating, <coughs> excuse me, your money. But what the company has actually been accumulating is a liability. They are liable to pay a million people, a million mouths, 1% a day. That means they have to pay out a million dollars a day. To pay out a million dollars a day, either they've had a pot sitting aside from previous ad pack sales, or they have net new money coming in, which means the 1 million people are now going to be 2 million or 3 million or 4 million people. Okay, But a point comes when even the slightest news, the early leaders, early members, of, remember, they've already made tons of money. They've quit their jobs. They've pulled out their money. They didn't even think what they were doing when they got into the system. They've made their money. Fine. Okay. Um, actually, no. It's, it's uh, technically illegal. Uh, it's basically you've just taken money from other people. And unfortunately, there are a couple of big ones where people literally went out to the market, borrowed loans of 20, 30, 40, 50 grand, and bought the ad packs thinking, this is going to change my life. If I can put in this money and compound it and keep compounding it, where's the actual money coming from? Now, some systems, I was associated with one. It starts with Z. I never promoted it. <clears throat> I was just on the panel as a gold guy. Okay, So don't hold me to being a, a ref share promoter. But I was associated with one program. Uh, and there I could see from, from the inside what's actually going on. <coughs> Excuse me. And the owner kept bluffing that they have external sources of income. Uh, they've done a deal with Google. They've done a deal with Apple. Uh, they've done here. They've done there. They've got this. They've got that. Yeah, but there was never any proof. So when someone gets on a video, even live presentation in front of real phys physical people, and someone says, I've been to... Uh, you know the the uh, offices of Google and you know very posh offices and they welcomed me and they offered me a team. Look, that's distraction. 
you want to show us the proof, show us the invoice of you having made a payment for some kind of a service that is giving you an additional source of revenue. Yeah? Google isn't providing you revenue just because Google likes to give out money. So you must have a deal. You must have an agreement. If not, even if you have cash flow coming in, show us. Why are you hiding it? And this is similar to when people say, you know, oh, we are dealing with uh, somebody. Our income is being generated by doing x, y, and z. If you're a properly structured company, you should be in a position to show that income. Unfortunately, a company isn't uh, obliged to show it. Like in our case, to be very honest with you, our company is never going to show you revenue or earnings because we don't know how far that information is going to be taken and fudged and sent somewhere and everywhere. We don't know who's watching us. So you don't give away confidential company information. That is for the company's own benefit. But if you have something like you're making tall claims, you need to be able to show it. And the rest is all common sense. Okay. So let's say you've got uh, you've got uh, an ice cream parlor that is your external source of income. How on earth is an ice cream parlor ever going to give you the cash flow necessary to feed a million hungry mouths? So at that point, companies come up with some other idea. You know, let's launch something else. Let's launch something new. Now we are expanding. We are now a conglomerate, a group of companies. When the owner needs to run, he'll be long gone. You'll not be able to get your money back. So as far as ref shares are concerned, you have to ask yourself. It's not me telling you. I'm asking you. You know, have you looked at where on earth the net new money is coming into the system in order to take it away? So if people say, well, you're getting uh, credits, you're online, your your clicking has value, and you get to show your product to 250,000 other members. <clears throat> no. For the amount you've paid for the ad pack, you could run a Google AdWord campaign and get genuine customers off the bat, off Google. You could do a little banner ad campaign at the bottom <coughs> of the free version of um, Candy Crush or whatever. You can do that kind of advertising. If you know how to structure it, if you know how to target your market, if you know how you're doing it right, it'll cost you less to generate genuine business from the open market. So this is what another friend of mine, uh, you know, um, unfortunately he doesn't get along with me very well anymore. But uh, he was telling me, yeah, cryptocurrency is just a Ponzi scheme. It relies on new people coming in with money for the older people to make more money, and therefore it is a Ponzi scheme. No, no. Why? I'll explain that. Very, very simple. In an open market, people are free to put more money or take more money out. That's an open market. A closed market, you have to be a member. So for those intents and purposes, our free account membership is an open market to you. Just to make sure your KYC is in order. And you buy your gold and silver, you sell your gold and silver. You do with it whatever you want. You put in, you take out. You know, we're not going to stop you. Uh, for mining, you see how much you want. You want it, don't want it, fine. You want to go somewhere else, no problem. You, you think you've got something better? No. <laughs> Look at my video from a couple of weeks ago uh, called Bitcoin Mining Review, and I've compared three or four different companies right there in your face, and that's the best example I can give you. So when you have this situation where um, uh, you, know, you have an open market, anyone can come and go, and they can choose. They're, they're not obliged to do anything. The affiliate program, on the other hand, is more of a closed system. Why? Because as long as you're an affiliate, you get access to the compensation plan. If you're no longer an affiliate, why should you get access to the compensation plan? Why should you get free lunch? Right? So that is where we become uh, uh, an actual business that distributes for a commission and takes that commission and pays it to different levels, each according to their own hard work. If you've been with the company for two years and you've never brought in a single person because you've never even tried, you don't deserve to earn. If you've been with the company and like uh, uh, Shuck, he's made a uh, director rank in like two or three weeks. Uh, you know, he's put in the effort, so no one can deny him. No one can deny him the rank advancement and the extra money he earns. So this is a fair system. Whereas when you're clicking ad packs, it's each other's members. Nobody really wants to do any real business. I mean, come on, tell me, be honest. How many actually go in there to click to see or oh, which new scheme am I going to join today? No, you just do it like a task, because a task has to be done in order to get paid. And you're there to get paid, not to put your fancy banners up 
and advertise. A lot of people use it as a traffic exchange, which is great. A lot of professional people should and always will use it as a traffic exchange. It's a fantastic traffic exchange, 250,000 captive audience. Uh, and if yours stands out, and if you can do a big banner ad, and you can do a column ad, and you can do all these fancy things, then yes, it makes sense. But as a lifestyle income, it is going to have to collapse at some point or the other. So the wise thing to do is to at least get your initial seed capital out, see how much more you can earn, and keep drawing money out. Uh, if it's a genuine business, it will survive even if you've pulled out. If it is a fake business, your pulling out will send the wrong signals and they'll start collapsing already. So this is this is as simple as that. When people pull out money, it collapses. This is what happened with Bernie Madoff. If you look up Bernard Madoff, uh, who ran a hedge fund in, in uh, the Caribbean islands, um, uh, that was the world's largest billion, multi-billion dollar Ponzi scheme. And he was selling his product through investment banks. It just went in the crisis. JP Morgan said, right, we have a crisis. Everything is down. Everything is crashing. And you're still providing returns. We want to see your papers. And he says, no, we don't have papers. So JP Morgan told some of the clients to pull out the money. That spread a panic in the market, and the Ponzi collapsed. He got arrested, and he's in jail serving, I don't know, 200 and something years in prison. And uh, I don't think New York prisons are particularly pleasant. OK, uh, not for a, a Jewish guy. <laughs> OK, so <clears throat> Bernie Madoff uh, is a clear example of how a Ponzi is run. That doesn't mean all the other mutual funds are Ponzi's. They are structured in a multi-level system. They are all pyramid shape. Yeah, all, all large organizations are pyramid shape. Uh, that's for stability. And they're structured with a multi-level uh, management payout. You can look at your own bank. Yeah, you've got your security guy and all the other, other functionaries, you've got the janitor and the receptionist and everybody else that are basically uh, uh, non-banking relevant but necessary functions. And then you've got the basic clock level. And then you've got the basic uh, lower management. Then you've got the middle management, senior management, board of directors, and then the, the shareholders who ultimately own the structure. So it's always a pyramid shape. Uh, having said that, uh, a, 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 a rev share, uh, a bank does not rely on constantly new money coming in. Yeah. So if you've got fixed assets in a bank, they take your money and lend it to somebody else. That's where they're making their money. They're making their money on the back of your money, and they lend five, six, ten times more for every dollar you put in that bank. So they're taking you for a ride. That's all banks do that. Okay, so banks don't need new money coming in. But when bank depositors start pulling money out, you get Northern Rock. So then banks turn out to be a Ponzi scheme as well. Okay. But as far as a ref share is concerned, I, I just know too many people that have, their, have had their lives destroyed. Um, they entered the wrong time. They've got too much money allocated. They're stressed. They don't know uh, how is it going to go. And it may be a good idea uh, if it's a well-run, professional, high-quality company that is able to prove it has good, high-quality external sources of income to sustain the hungry mouths. But each time a ref share gets too big for its own good, you basically got a liability. You've got more people to feed than you're able to produce. Where well, you got to get the money from? So that's when the collapse begins. And that is very quick, very sudden. And one day, you just have to pull the plug. They'll tell you we got hacked or whatever, or whatever excuse they usually make. And that's the excuse I know a few other ref shares have already made. And the owners are fine, because that's the, the nature of the internet, you know, unless you complain about them, against them, in their own a residential jurisdiction, nobody was going to take action against them. So this is how they get away with it. And a lot of people get away with it, running all kinds of Ponzi schemes. And ultimately, they just want to run away to Brazil uh, because there's no extradition treaty. So Brazil government is not going to arrest you just because your high court has sent a, uh, an order to say, we want Ronnie Briggs, Briggs back. Ronnie, the train robber, went to Brazil. Why? Because there's no extradition treaty. It took 40-something years to nail him, and that, that's why it was such a big deal. This is the whole point. These are, these are bits and pieces of history that have already taken place. Um, you must do your due diligence, and I'm not here to, frankly, review the services. And when it comes to cryptocurrencies, look, more than half of them are scams. <clears throat> yeah? uh, we just don't know uh, 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 when a new one is launched, 
uh, we don't know what it is all about. So it becomes each individual's personal responsibility. There are so many ICOs, initial coin offerings, <coughs> coming out in the market. It is your responsibility, your personal responsibility, to make sure that you understand what is it that they're offering. Not the hype. Not the hype. Not marketers making a lot of noise. What is it that you have that is special compared to someone else? So very simply, Litecoin is a genuine cryptocurrency. It's got the Lightning Network. It's the fastest for micropayments. It is basically a Bitcoin baby. Yeah. So instead of shifting Bitcoins, you want to shift sh small little payments rapidly. Boom, 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 boom. You've got a till ringing. Litecoin would be the currency to use. Yeah. Similarly, you've got Zcash, which is effectively an untraceable account. The idea is that Bitcoin is still traceable. With Zcash, it is meant to be untraceable, totally anonymous. So that is their strength. Ethereum has a, a separate blockchain from Bitcoin. It has certain issues, but it is a very appealing to accounting and banking and all kinds of other uh, office-based functions that are able to process a lot of data using blockchain because it's all open, transparent, open ledger. Everybody gets to see it, so nobody has an excuse for messing up. You know, if it's a closed ledger, one manager can hide his employee, his, his uh, subordinate may have made a big mistake that will reflect badly on the manager. They can hide and fudge and they can shred papers and they can do all sorts of stuff. On the blockchain, it's all transparent. Nobody can say, oh, this didn't happen. No, you are able to pinpoint it to get it happened. So it's got greater confidence, greater transparency. <coughs> Excuse me. There's another coin called Redcoin, uh, which is meant to be a social media tipping coin. So uh, instead of just liking, what if Facebook gave you an option that if you really like the content of this guy, give him a tip, you know, let him earn a little bit. So you can use a red coin currency that is social media friendly to tip people on Twitter, to tip people on Facebook, across platform. So that is their strength. Uh, they haven't taken off yet because Steam already exists, but Steam is exclusive to Steam it, Steam it itself, the platform, which is great. Uh, but if you took Steam it uh, and Steam the coin and took it out and put it on mass general uh, uh, social media, then you would want to have red coin, right? So these are specialities. If they're not able to explain and if they're just using hi-fi words and if they're just telling you big fancy things, um, again, you need to do more due diligence because I know too many people got stuck with a fake coin. And if you put that name of that coin in the search tool, uh, and put India arrest. The people been arrested in India because the promoters got beaten up. They got taken to a farmhouse and uh, hung upside down for two weeks without food and water. Now all kinds of stories come out. Yeah. So if you're in, uh, you know, uh, based on that, somebody may have by now already launched two coin, but the the original coin, you know, um, it has no blockchain. It has no transparency. It has no market other than the members. That's a closed loop. Yeah, there's, there's no cryptographic quality to it. So every time you invest, keep an eye, follow some of the traders. Now, I do trading for myself privately, but I don't give tips for the simple reason because I have a business to develop. And not just my business, I have your business to develop for you. So I'm spending my time helping people understand so that you and your team is satisfied. So if I was to go away from that and just give a few tips here and there on which coins to buy, that would defeat the purpose and really be a very bad, poor uh, use of my time, although I could make a lot of money trading. But it's not just about the money. If you get the vision, yeah, uh, I was in banking when the last crisis happened, and I decided I have to do something so that the masses are aware. Just I'm not the best marketer. You know? So I can, I've only got 300 something likes on my uh, YouTube uh, uh, followers on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm, I'm not a genius marketer. I have content. I can help understand and educate. But you guys are the marketers. You have the quality that I don't. And I may have some teaching ability that you maybe don't. So you marry those two, and that becomes a very powerful combination, which is why I'm here. So I can't distract from that. But basically, when, when acquiring uh, coins, there are enough prominent publications that are independent, third party, not blogs. Blogs, basically, somebody can come in there and uh, knock another company, giving a whole bunch of explanation. And that puts people off from that company. But actually, they're uh, with a little label below, with a little uh, bar, they're actually promoting their own company. 
uh, by knocking somebody else's company, saying, I had a terrible experience with Genesis Mining, and below they're actually promoting a different mining operator from China. So uh, blogs aren't always reliable. You don't know who the person is. But on the other hand, you can go to an official website, uh, you know, CoinMarketCap and various others, and you'll be able to see there are some you know, good coins there. If you know anything about trading, it's okay to get into. But why does a coin, none of these ICOs, none of these initial cryptocurrency uh, offerings that came uh, on the market in the recent few days, uh, a few weeks and months, actually, um, the ICO, the, the new launch of cryptocurrency has been really, really hotting up. None of them needed a network marketing uh, way of growing. Uh, that argument is nonsense. None of them. Ethereum didn't need it. Bitcoin didn't. <coughs> Zcash didn't. Uh, <coughs> although <coughs> Zcash is linked to another mining operator as well, who was giving it for free initially, uh, because they had the mining uh, allocation already. But you know, um, uh, basically, None of these big mining companies, uh, uh, new cryptocurrencies, or even the established ones, none of them need network marketers. If you have something worthwhile, put out a white paper. White paper has to be peer reviewed. It is useless if it is just white paper. Okay. So, for example, uh, before the, uh, I'll give you a historical example. Before the uh, first uh, invasion of Kuwait in order to then get to uh, Iraq and push back on the Iraqi army. Um, the first invasion of and the bombing of Kuwait effectively, um, something very, very valuable was lost because Kuwaiti scientists were working on a clone of a sheep. This was an Arabic version or a, a Middle East version of Dolly, the first cloned sheep in the West. Uh, this was a Kuwaiti version. Uh, when the Iraqis came in, they, <laughs> they just turned it into kebab in no time at all. You know? so, but everything was lost, and then they burned the papers. But when the Kuwaitis had basically, uh, before the invasion, when they had uh, uh, the pa white paper, they had circulated it amongst the universities, and everybody was very pleased with the progress they had made in their ability to clone. So they were giving feedback. Well done, well done, well done. Yeah? The feedback is what you call peer review. Other universities confirming to your university that what research you're doing is correct. It is good. Well done. That is peer review. No point in putting out a piece of paper if others aren't even reviewing it. Nobody's even talking about you. Then you have to question, well, what kind of uh, opportunity is this? You know? So that's all I have to say. Um, uh, question summary of nine ways to earn. OK, again, we'll, we'll probably end up doing uh, a whole new session on this, hopefully with Claudia, if possible. She can go through every single way of earning, but your first primary target is to get fast track commissions in dollars cash. You can do with that whatever you want. Conservatively, you can buy gold and silver. You can be aggressive with it and buy more mining with it. You can be uh, uh, moderate with it and take it out and pay off any car finance deal you may have <clears throat> or anything you may owe somebody else. You can pay them off. There are so many things you can do with cash. Cash is good. Therefore, go for the up <coughs> affiliate package, and that should be great. Then you have the uh, attached mining bonus. You don't want to sit with just three terahash of mining. You want 300. Once you have 300, you want 500. Once you have 500, you want 1,000. You want more and more and more without having to pay for it yourself. The only way to earn it is use our compensation plan. Explain the platinum package to people. Each time you get three terahash per pop, and you can keep adding and adding and adding. It may take some time. And then if you have enough people, and when they start compounding, just like a rev share, you'll be getting 5% as well. Except they are not taking the money and putting it into a closed system. They are taking their money and buying an allocation of a physical machine that is the Bitcoin mining operation. Okay, so there are <laughs> these are your two primary. Go for those, and you'll be fine. The rest will work out on its own. So every time you have three people, try to help them build up their own three. And every time you you need five people to actually reasonably rank advance uh, quickly. So you need a minimum of five frontline people, and three uh, of them. If you try and help them out, then you'll have three solid legs growing, and two can be slightly weaker legs, and that's fine. <clears throat> So when you end this podcast, <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll remain online.
Genesis, have they offered their services to other companies? Yes. Genesis Mining uh, are secret members of various online pools. And they will not disclose who they're members with. Because then the competition will get to understand exactly what their profitability level is. So the competition can start beating them. Right now, Genesis is the most profitable company in the world, simply because they use geothermal power in uh, Iceland on the one hand, and they've got some uh, atmospheric uh, power capture in, uh, in the north of Sweden, where the next altcoin operation is, or some, something like that. So basically, yes, they, they are the power supply behind BitClub Network. 100% of BitClub Network is supplied by Genesis Mining. There are four other companies they have confirmed by email but they're also members of various other mining pools on that big pie chart. So they are one of the biggest players on that pie chart if you look at blockchain.info. Okay, I hope that answers your question. Uh, they will not disclose uh, exactly how much because they're not there to earn a name for themselves. You are free to email them. You feel uh, free to support uh, at uh, genesismining.com, genesis-mining, <coughs> and ask them all you like. They have a Twitter feed you can report uh, or ask them on Twitter feed, uh, what do you think? What is this? What is that? And you can ask them whatever you like, uh, you know, within reason, obviously. They're not going to reveal things that are business critical, okay? So, guys, I hope this was okay. An hour and a half nearly. Uh, I hope this was useful to you. I'm just going to end this uh, call now, and what we'll do is uh, we'll do more of these more frequently. Just let me know uh, what topic you want to cover, uh, if you'd like Claudia to join us as well, she hopefully will be back from Australia very soon, uh, back in the Eurozone time zone. <clears throat> uh, uh, you know, if, if you uh, want any further details on anything, let me know in advance on, on, on the chat group, and I'll try and get back to you uh, with the right answers. But basically, you need to understand how this business can change your life. Once you understand that, you should be flying on your own. Uh, if you're a member, by now, I suspect you would have had the time to check out every single function in the back office. So when you're a member for a month, two months, three months, you shouldn't be asking, why is my membership lapsed because my payment failed, because you're not paying attention to your own business. But you know, if you're, if you're, if you're on the ball, if you're sharp like Shaq, you know, you'll do very well for yourself. And you can do it honorably. You can go home and sleep. You can kiss your children goodbye instead of having them visit you in prison. So, you know, <laughs> so you know, you, you can do it honorably. Keep your family name uh, uh, with respect, and uh, let let the people know, let the world know um, that you're doing a decent business, and you can prove it. You can prove it in pricing. You can prove it in the structure. You can prove it in the actual products, and you can prove it when your uh, daily Bitcoin income starts coming in. You know, when your daily payments are coming into your wallet, it's it's a no-brainer. All you have to do is show it to people. So guys, uh, I hope this is okay. We'll end it now, and uh, I'm asked to stay back, so we'll be chatting with them, but everybody else, thank you very much. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. Do give us a thumbs up. In about five minutes, you'll be able to comment on the video below if you liked it or not. Uh, if you have any questions, WhatsApp is better. Avoid on YouTube, because I'll be obliged to answer on YouTube, which is, you know, then God knows who jumps in, and they start getting messy with it. But uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to transparently answer them to your face, no problem. All right, guys, thank you very much. Bye-bye.